Hi, this is Riley with Carriage House Trailers, and I want to teach you how to go from this to this. Pretty awesome. So, whenever you decided to get a trailer, and like this one, this is a 1981 uh, two horse made by WW in Medill, Oklahoma. Um, what this is a vintage two horse trailer is used to haul horses, right? So, how do you find a trailer like this? This trailer is going to be awesome. I showed you earlier what you're going to turn it into, or what at least what I turn them into. And what I'd like to do is there's not a whole lot of resources out there on kind of step by step how to do that. And I see a lot of people wanting to do that, first timers, they're not. Uh, you know they haven't had a career or anything like that that involves um, some of the processes that are necessary you know I just this is my garage it's a big garage no doubt but this is where I convert them at I started out um, the first one I ever did I you know bent the rules of a uh, an RV space at a um, at a storage unit mini storage you know an enclosed storage unit and uh, you know you're you're technically not supposed to be working in there. Um, it just happened to be out of the way, and I was able to do that. And you could also do this, um, you know, under a carport or something like that. Anywhere this trailer will fit, preferably out of the weather. You can do most of this stuff outside if you needed to. Um, it's not going to hurt anything, but um, preferably you know in getting out of the weather is just better all around like it's february right now in oklahoma and we just had a ice storm slash sleet storm and uh, you know we were in the teens and with wind chills uh, below zero for close to a week so that can put a dent in your ability to work on um, work on your trailer so but how do you get a trailer where do you find them i'm going to show you where I find them. This is, the, this is the success that I've had in finding a trailer. Um, I'll show you the ways that I do it and the ways that I go about it um, and to find the best deal. You know, another thing is you need to have, um, some people don't like to negotiate. Um, you need to have the ability to negotiate some, know your budget and be able to negotiate. Um, I shoot for the um, anywhere between you know um, fourteen hundred and two thousand dollar range personally. Um, anything below that, you may end up with complete junk, is likely. Um, anything above that is just kind of it's eating into what you can do. Okay, what you can do. Now there is a lot of time involved. Um, in building these but don't let that distract you um, I want you to be able to build these uh, if you already have a trailer it's great you can you'll be able to use the things the things that I'm gonna show you are gonna apply to cargo trailers and everything uh, there's a lot of stuff that will apply and will translate into uh, other forms of trailers you know stock trailers especially something like that but especially these two horse trailers that are super popular right now they're awesome at wedding venues they're awesome at all sorts of places you know at the fair would be great there's just so much you can do with them and quite honestly there's a whole lot of them just sitting out in people's pastures rotting um, to be honest with you so uh, then they're you know they're I had a a friend of mine, a guy I used to work with, he actually, he was saying, hey, I know where some of these are. They're just sitting out in the middle of nowhere um, in a guy's pasture because they used to take their horses roping, go to different ropings with them, uh, team ropings, and um, they didn't want to look like a poor roper anymore, so they upgraded, you know, probably to some sort of aluminum fancy trailer maybe with the living quarters or something and so then they just park their old two horse trailer out in the pasture and not knowing that i mean somebody like you 
somebody like me can give this trailer a whole new life and put smiles on a whole lot of people's uh, faces when they see it. Um, it's really awesome. Uh, everybody I've bought them from uh, wants to wants an update. Hey, let me send me pictures on how that's going to turn out because that's a really cool idea. So it's it's just so cool what you can do with these things. The the, the sky's the limit on customizations. Um, so I don't want you to get you know, to think that the way that I'm doing it is the only way to do it. But um, I I want to take you through this journey. I'm going to show you. Uh, the tools I use, the techniques I use, the things I use to turn trailers like this one behind me into um, awesome show pieces that people will, their jaws will drop at, right? And so, and they're going to make memories. If there's, there's just so much interest in these right now. And this, like I said, the sky is literally the limit. I'm going to show you the tools, show you, I'm going to put links to uh to everything that i'm using so you'll be able to 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 get them easily to access it easily it's going to basically be a step by step to get you to a completed uh, you know you might call it a shell you might call it a you know a blank slate to where all all that you're going to need after you see these these videos is you know maybe an experienced electrician or plumber something along those lines if you need those sorts of customizations like sinks or generator hookups or those sorts of things um, those are best to be I mean if you've got that skill great go feel free to, to go about that and also I want you to share anything that you're seeing um, with me if, if you say hey you could do it this way different or I found that this way is better share that with me and put that in the comments so that other people can see that um, you'll be helping out tons of people by doing that um, by commenting on that there's gonna be people that are gonna come across this video and they're gonna see your comment and you'll be helping them along the way too to fulfill their dreams and so that's kind of what I want to do with this is to just to show you how to do this so step one is finding a trailer you can't build a trailer, you can't refurbish a trailer, you can't give a trailer new life unless you have a trailer. So check this out. Let's go find a trailer. 